everyone, it's Natalie from NellyDesign.com. Today I want to show you the difference between slice and subtract. Subtract is a new function that was added and you can find right here under the combine menu. Slice is still there right on the left. Now I won't go too deep into the slice function because I have a whole video on that subject and I will put this video at the end of this one. Before we go any further, I want you to go in the description of this video. You will be able to find a link to get my free cheat sheet that will explain to you all of the functions of Cricut Design Space. Everything you need to know that is really the basics to get started on the right foot. So you can go in the description of this video because you know that this cheat sheet is totally free. So first thing you need to know about the two functions is that they will always be grayed out until you have at least two layers selected. So let's see, I'm going to select this one and I'm going to add the other one with shift. So now you see you have the slice and if I click on combine, you will see subtract right here. Now I've made these two little houses on purpose. So you have a lot of layers. You have the base of the house, the door, and each little window is a little square. So for slice, if I want to slice the windows and the door into the house and I select all the layers right here, you're going to see that slice is still grayed out. That is because slice can only be made on two layers at a time. So that can be really a pain. So let me go right here in my group and if I select the base of the house and let's say the door, with shift I had the door, now I'll be able to slice. So in short, if I slice this, it goes on top and I will have four layers called slice result. And then I need to clean them up. I need to delete the layers I don't want and only keep the layers that I want. And now we don't see the windows anymore because the house went on top. So we can take this group that I called slice group and just put it on top and then I see the window again. So next step, I would need to select one window and the house and then slice again. So you see where I'm going. It's going to be really long. I know there's a shortcut that you can do. You can select all the windows. So with shift, I'm going to select them all. I could go to combine and weld them so they are only on one layer. You can see here weld result, add the slice result, the house, and then slice it. And then you would have your little house, but still I need to clean them up. So I need to delete this one and delete this one. And then we have our house. The fun thing about subtract is that you can do all of this in only one step. So I'm going to select my subtract group, all of this, and I'm going to go to combine and only click on subtract. And bam, you have it. What took us a lot of step before, we just did it in one simple step. Now, what's fun with subtract is that you can see that I can still see all the layers that compose uh, the, the operation that we just made. So we still have access to the door. If I click on it, you see that they reappear. You really need to click on the layer panel. So if I click there and I want to move the door because I'm not satisfied, I wanted the door on the right side, and then I let it go, it will re-subtract, if I might say. So now you can really modify it and change it as much as you want. Now with subtract, you can always undo the subtraction. So if I click on my group right here uh, and I go to combine, I can undo the subtraction and come back to what I had before. I'm just going to go back, do undo and back to my subtraction. But with slice, there's no way to do that. It is slice, you won't be able to find your original shapes. You're gonna need to do undo like this and lose everything you have done afterwards. So when should you use one versus the other one? Well, it's really up to you, seriously. Uh, it's really a personal decision. I'm getting used to using subtract because I like it, how fast it goes. But on the other side, I feel that it gets me really mixed up with all the layers. I don't know if you see, uh, these are all the layers I had. This was the group I had created originally that I had called and I had renamed subtract group. And then it creates another kind of group that is called subtract uh, because that's the function that I applied to the group. So it gets a bit confusing, but just I want to tell you that if it gets too confusing for you, you can still select the group and click on combine and merge layers then you will have a merge result that will be like the same same thing as the slice result, meaning that you won't be able to go back and modify it afterwards. 
So why is slice still there since subtract does the same thing and you can modify it and has a lot of more benefit? Well, I think there's a couple reasons for this because sometimes you want to use slice and you want to keep uh, the layers that are the result of the slice. Let me show you. So if I come here and there's this little quote right here and I want to move the arrow around so I could click on the shapes, use a square, unlock it and just like cover the arrow because let's say I want to move the arrow around so I usually do center back for this so I can really make sure I cover all of the design and I will select both of them and use slice then you'll see that I have now the words like this without any arrow and I have my arrow so I can click this one and delete use the delete key on my keyboard and I could put my arrow somewhere else, maybe under it. I could do the same thing with this word and move it a little bit down and then I have another uh, design. So this is where slice would be really helpful. Another thing that would be very helpful is if you want to do a design that's larger than the mat. So now it's pretty small, but let's say I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna uh, move it very larger so as soon as I do that, I have this little message in my layer panel that says, if I click on it, it said not supported by Explorer or even if I have my maker selected, it says image too large, reduce image size to 11.5 by 23.5. So this is the size, the maximum size of the larger mat, you know, the, those big mats. So what I usually do in that case, I will make a square that is 11.5 by 11.5. This is really the size that I can cut with one mat, so 11.5, and then I will go on top of my design. Let's go send to back again, and I will cut my design like this, trying not to cut in the middle of a design. Although you could do this if it's vinyl, but let's say we're gonna do this like that. I'm gonna select both of them, I'm gonna slice, and then I'll be able to keep this one. So I wouldn't be able to do that if I use a subtract. So I'm gonna delete this, I'm gonna delete this. I should have copied my rectangle, that would have been wiser. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the same thing, go right here, send to back, make sure I cover everything, select them, slice, and I have the second part of my design. So I can delete and then I have the third part. So I could cut this in three different mat and assemble them as a one big design. So I hope you see the difference between slice and subtract. If you know any other reason why you would like to use slice instead of subtract or subtract instead of slice, so please leave me a comment below, I would love to know it. Don't forget to download my free cheat sheet that will be in the description of this video and here's the video on slice if you want to know more about it. Thanks for being there, bye bye.